Hi guys, so let's now have a look at cash flow forecasting. Right, so on our cash flow forecast, you can see it breaks down to uh, sales and total income. Then we've got various items of expenditure and total expenditure highlighted. It, uh, the uh, cash flow forecast will also highlight the opening balance, uh, the net cash flow position, which is calculated uh, by the total income minus the total expenditure, uh, and finally our closing balance. So let's uh, just have a run through as to how we can calculate one of these. If you're watching this again, it's probably worthwhile you just uh, having a uh, little practice uh, and uh, trying to fill out these numbers on your own first. Okay, right, so um, we've got a thousand there, okay, because that is our total sales there, okay. Then we've got to total these amounts up, so we can see that we come to 370, 670, 730, 770. Uh, so we're left with 770 pounds as our total expenditure there, okay. They uh, this business had. £2,500 is it, so opening balance there. So from this we can see that the uh, net cash flow position, income minus expenditure, income minus expenditure, would be 230 So they've got £230 there um, of net cash flow. That simply then gets added on to our opening balance, okay? So that simply gets added on to our opening balance, and let's just highlight that in a different colour, so we would end up with uh, 2,730. Now that 2,730 pounds there would then become our opening balance for the next month. Okay, so we've got 2,730 uh, pounds. Right, let's uh, run through uh, the figures we've got here. So then we'd have 1,200. Uh, we would then have uh, 220. For 40, uh, 7, 740, right, okay, uh, 800, 850, right, okay. So then we get 850. Now we can see that um, our income minus our expenditure, our net cash flow position, uh, so 1200 pounds minus the 850, well, that's going to give us 350. Uh, okay, so that 350 then gets added on once again, so that would take us up to 3,080 pounds, okay? Right, so that 3,080 pounds gets carried over for the following month, okay, nice and straightforward. Um, and let's run through the same process once more. So we've got 1,300, then We've got, um, drawing up all of these, 150, right, 220, 440, uh, 740, 800, 830. Okay, so 830, slightly less expenditure this month, okay? So income minus expenditure, where well, we can see that there's a uh, £470 difference there. Okay, so 470, we add on that 470, that would give us... Uh, okay, 3,550, okay, uh, so 3,550, uh, and of course that then becomes the opening balance for the following month, okay? Right, over here we've got our total uh, income, £1,400, uh, our total expenditure meanwhile is, what, 230, 470, 770, uh, 840, 890. Okay, so we've got 890 there. Uh, okay, so now we can see that we've got what a 510 pound uh, net cash flow. Okay, so our net cash flow there is uh, is really strong. Uh, it's our strongest strongest month yet in terms of trading. Uh, the income's the highest. Okay, uh, so this business is uh, growing quite nicely here. Uh, right. So let's finish this up in style then, and let's put this down. So we've therefore got to go up to 4,060. Okay, so there we go. That is how to um, complete a cash flow forecast. Uh, hopefully that proce process has been quite useful there. Uh, have a look over this video again if you want to go back through any steps. That's uh, completely understandable. All right, good stuff. Thanks, guys.